I'm Ophelia Wibisono from the Dublin Institute for Advanced Studies. So I'm a planetary x-ray astronomer, which means I x-ray planets. You can get x-rays from planets in lots of different ways. It can tell us about how they interact with the sun. It can tell us about what the planet itself is made of and what's also in its atmosphere. We've detected x-rays from almost every single planet in our solar system. And we've even found x-rays from comets, Pluto, and the radiation belts around Jupiter. My talk at the Bark, the Universe and Everything will be about Jupiter's X-rays. Jupiter is the biggest and most energetic particle accelerator in the whole solar system and it's produced these X-rays, which has travelled about 700 million kilometres to reach our telescope and to give us these images. So we know that it's got bright X-ray aurora, we also know that its atmosphere reflects x-rays from the sun and we've seen x-rays coming from its radiation belts and even the moons but what can this tell us about auroras in general and maybe even potentially habitable worlds outside of our solar system jupiter's x-ray aurora rotate in and out of view just like in this video usually x-ray astronomers look at really far away things like black holes and exploding stars and it's quite a surprise that a planet like Jupiter can do the same thing. But actually, if we learn more about how Jupiter produces these X-rays, we can apply that to those black holes and, and exploding stars that are further away. And we're really lucky. Jupiter is fairly close to us. So we have sent spacecraft there, like the Juno uh, spacecraft, which is orbiting around Jupiter right now, which can give us context as to what's actually going on around the planet. So why do we need to know this? This is important because this is a fundamental process that's happening all throughout the universe. So we can find out what the surfaces of planets and moons are like with x-rays. And if, for example, we find a certain element on the surface of an icy moon around Jupiter or Saturn that can tell us if it's got the right conditions for life underneath the thick icy crust or have the right chemicals and, and materials for life, then that's very exciting. We don't need to drill underneath those thick icy crusts to find that out. I can't wait to share this with you and more at King's Place on Sunday 24th November.